Welcome back everyone, this is j 7 Jace showing you how to unlock Lionel's new Liege Lord. Now you need to have done the Beowulf and Raze side quests and she needs to be back in her human form. And you also need to have completed the battles at Malone, so quite it's unlocked quite late into the game. And you need to read Lionel's new Liege Lord and it's available at most taverns on the map. I just read it at Door to Trade City. And this one's worth doing as you get to see some more story and backstory from two of the side characters in the PS1 game. And you can get some very rare items like the Genji armor and Zeus Mace. And also the Masamune, which I found to be really rare from ninjas. Like they never throw them at me. So we have a cool scene here with a uh, Beowulf and Raze, and we see what happens here. And Beowulf, he will be a guest in these two fights. So again, his strength is determined by what he has abilities and equipment wise. So if you want him to be a powerhouse, make sure he's geared up and has great abilities. Mine has darkness and all the, you know, rendezvous items like you know reverie shield and etc and man elise that guy is styling like in my one of my tier lists i'm like dude i love his design that sprite um i love the colors contrast of the dark blue and white oh man i i wish ramza had a sprite like that it'd be so amazing so here you're gonna be locked into a series of battles um you can actually technically get soft locked here if you decide to save and can't get past these fights but they shouldn't be too hard um if you have some of the stronger characters um equipment and abilities at this point so for this first fight um beowulf is a guest but he can't be ko'd so keep that in mind and the other enemies, it shouldn't be too bad from my experience. Um, Elise does have some very strong equipment, but unfortunately he does have safeguards. So you can't steal the Genji equipment that he has on, unfortunately. And there's also some ninjas, a time mage and archers, um, which can be annoying, but if you just focus fire on a least which my beowulf's gonna do um should be no sweat like i figure it was a duel between the between the two and i'm like i gotta let beowulf have his uh time to shine not just ramza even though ramza is the powerhouse but yeah this scene's kind of sad because um you know that's like his best friend and you know, raised they're fighting. So there we go. Sanguine Sword just taking him out. But um, he kind of has that thing like Delita in Chapter One, in the final fight where he can come back with one HP. I'm like, dude, and he's like, your edge. <laughs> oh man, that's insane. And he also has teleport too. So be very careful if you have like a unit and critical he he will just come up and attack you so he has very rare equipment with the shield helm and armor um unfortunately no gauntlet or glove and the ninjas and they have a nice uh color pattern but nothing beats the ninja at um fort besla like that black one like that other than that sprite so amazing so yeah beowulf as you saw based on his equipment and abilities really needs no help here and there we go there's a judgment blade flashback to um nicer's video the i think that's like his most popular video the one where she judge judgment blades the knight oh man a classic a meme that will forever live on in history a name like you know in the history books like Alexander the Great <laughs> so there's that um here's Ramsa just 
taken out a ninja. Bam. So once Beowulf gets his turn, um, we know what he's going to do. He tends to focus um, on a least if possible from my experience, especially with darkness. Yeah. And we also have Alicia and Labian here. Um, I deployed them because oh, I should have deployed Masadio here too, now that I think about it. Like, you know, the party going to uh, Lionel Castle back in Chapter 2. Should have been them. But two Sanguine Swords from Beowulf. And he's defeated. So... I guess like he had a sickness or some kind of disability where his life would end. So that was unfortunate. Now, when the time comes in the future for the Lion War recruits, um, whenever that happens, that's gonna be so cool. We can recruit some characters you always wanted in the party, like uh, Gaff Carrion, Elmdor, at least. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. It's like vanilla plus Final Fantasy Tactics for the Lion. It's like the Lion War mod, which is like the greatest mod, in my opinion, in Final Fantasy Tactics history. So for this second part of the fight, you can get some rare items as well. Like the Mystic has a Chantage. Um, this female Samurai has the Masamune. Like to me, the Masamune is the only thing worth stealing because from my experience, I never had luck. Um, Never had luck with it being thrown at me. But if you don't really care about the Masamune, um, you can just go ahead and go after Bremon right away. Um, so this first part of the battle, um, phase one, it's Yukio Bremon. Um, the female ninjas, Samurai and the Mystics, will go away. So keep that in mind, like once Bremon's first form is KO'd. And he also has some good equipment like ribbon and a lordly robe, but unfortunately you can't steal it in warped lines because all these cool enemies have safeguard. Now in the Lion War mod, it is possible to steal this as they got rid of safeguard in that mod. So another reason why you should play the Lion War mod, but yeah, here's defeat Bremon. I also allow Beowulf to have some fun. So for this fight, Beowulf does not need to be KO'd. Like, but the first one he does, or it's game over. So I tried to get the extra dialogue to come out between uh, Bremon and Beowulf. Like, oh man, I love this story. Um, the, uh, the good looking alpha male Beowulf just He's like, yeah, raise his mind, you know, not you. Just because um, you're ugly, um, you're a horrible human being, and you have money, um, the good looks and kind heart prevail in the end. So the ninja, the female ninjas can be an issue here. And that one mystic with the chantage. But, again, it's nothing uh, that difficult. You have to worry about. And there we go, that's his equipment. The Zeus Mace. Man, and he has pretty good stats. Um, it's like, he's like Zalmor, or Zalmo, if you're familiar with the PS1 version. And that Judgment Blade, it's hard, 756. Now, I don't know how much HP um, Bremon's second form has, the Dark Dragon. I know it's a lot, but we chop them down quickly after we take out some of these uh, ladies here. A 999 Crushing Blow from Ramza, powerhouse. And Upon completing this battle, you will get a Zeus Mace, or Mace of Zeus. Which is, um, I don't think it's that good, but it's a rare item. 
So there's Beowulf, man. He's going after Brimon. Deciding to just kill him with the Chaos Blade. He's like, I don't need Dark Knight's darkness. You're done. Or maybe he was going to call upon the power of the dark here. And he transforms into a dark dragon. Which I really like the way the sprite looks here. Looks cool. And again, not too difficult. Um, he does have counter. Um, so if you have someone with the range, like, you know, even a spear or pole arm, like Balthier's Barrage, you can do a lot of damage. And avoid his counter. And there's Beowulf 999, blocked with the Reverie Shield. And look at that move plus three, man. He is just walking away. And we have Alicia 360 with the Chaos Blade. Like, I know he's going down. I think he has like, I want to say like 3000-ish HP. Not totally sure on the exact amount, but it's a lot. And here we have uh, Ramza. I did want Beowulf to get in the finish. Um, give him some spotlight, you know what I mean? There's 999, so... This is about it for Lionel's new Liege Lord. Overall, a very nice addition. And the remaster of War of the Lions. Like, if you want to get fancy too, um... He also has... No way, I lost my train of thought. I was gonna say, like, use Drain or something on him and try and calculate how much HP, is ha how much HP he has, which is probably good. And yeah, there's the Zeus Mace. So, yeah, there we go. You can get some very rare items. And if you're playing it single player or on the mobile, it's the only way to get Genji armor. Or a second Zeus Mace. So here we go. Here's... Same interior design. Like at Egros where um, Ramza, Delita, and Argath meet with Dice Dog and Duke Lar comes out. It's like the same area. But no, this is cool. They have a nice hug there. And... They will offer to join the party again, so accept them. You know, they're one of a kind. Gotta, gotta treat them good. You know, be nice to your friends. So, definitely. I wish we got, you know, a little more from more of the lines, like side quests like these, but overall, it's amazing. And there we go, there's Beowulf. Look at that, 97 bravery, 94 faith, oh man. <laughs> and there's Reyes. So this was Lionel's new Liege Lord, how to unlock it, as well as some other tips. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time with more FFT content. Take care.